So Hama Hama is uh, my family's oyster farm, and we've, we're a fifth generation farm. We've been in oysters for three generations. My grandpa started the oyster farm. So we have farm sites up here because the water stays really cold all summer. We are geographically blessed. The Olympic Peninsula has some of the cleanest water in the world. Like shellfish farming in general is an amazing way to produce protein. We don't have to feed them. The water comes in, water goes out. They eat what's there naturally. It doesn't consume fresh water. There's no chemical involved. Right. And so in terms of like passive ways of growing an animal to feed the world, like shellfish farming is just really incredible. All right, I have a question. What is an oyster? Uh, so an oyster is a funny little critter because it's neither completely an ocean animal or completely a land animal. It's technically a molluscan bivalve. They have two shells. They f they're filter feeders. What we see on menus all the time, we see different types of oysters. Sure. Why are there different varieties? Because they're sedentary, they're really reflective of where they're grown. Different bodies of water, different salinities, different temperatures, different kinds of algae. You don't and that has everything to do with it. Yes. They, these, these little critters saw us coming a couple hundred million years ago and have some good strong defenses against human predation. <laughs> but we have some tricks up our sleeve. They didn't see that coming. If you don't have a knife to do this, you can always oh, shuck an oyster by just cooking it, by heating it. You can? Yeah. That, and then um, the oyster is alive right now. So it, it's holding the shell shut. And that's why they're hard to shuck. If you do it right, the oyster w w might not even know anything's happened to it. We've got a rounded end and a hinge, a pointy end, got and it. then a, a cup side here. And so if you're holding the oyster with the cup side down and the hinge towards you, mm -hmm. the muscle that the oyster is using to hold these two shells together is on the right side of the oyster. You have to get the knife in the oyster and then you have to cut the oyster free of its shell. So the first step, you're just gonna stick the knife into this hinge far enough so that the oyster is stuck on that knife. Not doing, oh, I see. Oh, okay. oh, hey. So, okay. Now this is why we wear the gloves. <laughs> now I didn't hit my hand. What so that, that oyster knows it's being shot. I see, <laughs> I'm sure it does. My oyster might not know. <laughs> so I'm gonna just slide the knife on the inside of the oyster, just kind of scraping it off that top shell. And then you just kind of oh. sever it right there. That's amazing. Yeah hold the rounded end up to your bottom lip, but then chewing it. No, no, we don't want to do that. No, you should do it. Ah, okay, now that's where I get a little... Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. They're so good. That's amazing. I think... Um, wow. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for this, by the You're way. My pleasure. Oh, oh, cheers. <laughs> uh-huh.